What's going on and welcome back to another less than five minute gear review and in this video we're going to be going over the North Face Base Camp Duffel. Now these guys are going to cost you anywhere from about $100 to $180 and it's going to depend entirely on the size of the bag. They have a extra small, small, medium, large and then extra large and then when it comes to the colors and patterns they do have one camo pattern that I've seen recently but most of the bags now are just a solid color. They don't really have a whole lot of the camo patterns anymore, but you can still find them on Amazon and eBay for people that are still trying to get rid of these or their old stock. So do know that they are still available. You just have to do a little bit of research and take some time to figure out who still has them and who doesn't. So with that, I'm gonna go over this entire bag top to bottom so that way you can see everything that this bag has to offer in comparison to all the other bags that I've done reviews on. When it comes to this bag and why I purchased it, there are a couple of reasons. One, I needed a bag that would fit inside of the Pelican 1660 cases that I have and be like a perfect fit. This large bag actually fits perfectly inside the main compartment and that was like one of the biggest selling factors. And then some of the other selling factors that I really liked about it was the laminated kind of Cordura material. Uh, it's pretty much waterproof when it comes down to it. So it makes this thing really, really nice. You can have this out in the rain, you can throw clothes, gear, whatever you want inside of this thing and you don't have to worry about whatever internal contents you have getting soaked and getting wet. I've actually dropped this outside during a rainstorm and when I opened it up, when I got to where I was going, I didn't have any wet equipment or clothes inside of this. So this thing is awesome for that capability. And then on top of that, being able to run this as a duffel bag, as well as kind of a backpack configuration were huge selling points as well, as well as the side handles for easy, just moving it around and getting it in and out of vehicles or into storage areas and all that. So with that, I'm gonna dive right into this thing so that way you can see everything that's going on. When it comes to the top side of the bag, you have your shoulder straps and then your lid or the opening main compartment. So that's up on top. You can actually pull these straps off if you want to. I just leave them on just because it's nice to have them on there all the time. Uh, if you take these straps off, you do have to store them inside of one of the pockets, either the side pocket, the lid pocket, or the main compartment. They don't have a designated spot that you can throw those shoulder straps in, uh, like some of the other bags that I've done reviews on. Additionally, you have your duffel bag handles with your Velcro connector, and then you also have these side handles. Like I said, they're great for just being able to move this bag around with a lot more ease. You have compression straps on either side. Uh, there's two on each side, so if you want to compress this thing down, you can. This actually comes with a small like storage bag, so if you want to compress this down all the way, throw it in that storage bag so that way it's not taking up a whole lot of space, you do have that as well. And then also on the exterior, you have these attachment loops. So if you just want to D-ring something straight to the uh, straight to the bag, you have that ability as well. Uh, when it comes to the exterior, you really don't have a whole lot else. You do have the side pocket on the side over here. So if you want to isolate anything, you do have a pretty decent and well-sized pocket for all of that. So if you want to throw, say, travel documents or administrative data stuff, some specific items, healthcare stuff, whatever the case may be. Whatever you want to throw in there and isolate it, you have that ability to do that. And then on the back side, you do have this reinforced liner on the bottom, so that way when you're moving this thing around, it's just gonna protect the bottom of this, as well as uh, uh, protect where everything is connected and sewn into place on the bottom. So I do really like that about this bag. And then uh, when it comes to the interior of this thing, it is pretty straightforward. You have your lid and the opening for your lid. So, or I shouldn't say the opening for your lid. You have your lid with the mesh pocket on the top of it, which is super nice. So you have additional space to be able to isolate things. You have the bag that comes with this. Uh, actually when you purchase these things usually they're inside of this bag which is nice so if you want to fold this entire thing up you have that ability to fold it up and then on the interior you just have your nice large uh, main compartment and then you also have another mesh pocket here on the side so uh, I think the only one time I took these straps off I threw both this extra bag these solar straps and a few other items right in there 
but it's entirely up to you on how you want to set this up and configure it. So you do have some options when it comes down to it for the overall setup configuration and then some purchasing options to think about. Uh, I do like this bag over a lot of the other bags that I have and I'm actually looking at purchasing one more of these and then getting rid of a lot of the other bags that I have uh, just because there are so many things that I like about this bag above all of the other bags that I have. It is a lot smaller, but the pros for what I need it for outweigh uh, all the other bags that I have. So um, with that, the only th other thing I can really say about it is when it comes to the material of this thing, they definitely purchase and use really high-end materials. The thermoplastic kind of cordura material or laminated fabric that they use for this thing is awesome. It is super robust. It takes a massive beating. I've had this thing for a year and a half and I've taken it on a bunch of trips and this thing takes a beating. The actual, the bottom is the only thing that's really kind of shown that I've used this when it comes down to it. The rest of the bag itself almost looks as new as the day that I bought it. So I highly recommend it. Uh, it does fit perfectly inside of that Pelican 1660 case which is a huge thing for me. So if you do want to set up a Pelican case and you want a bag that's going to fit into the interior of this, I would highly recommend looking at the large uh, bag that North Face offers for the Base Camp series. So with that, if you have any questions, I don't have anything else, leave a comment. We'll help you out with any questions that you have. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.